video we are going to demonstrate about Arduino development kit. The kit we are using has order code 520728. The development board consists of Arduino UNO, 20 by 4 LCD display, 4 digit 7 segment display, serial port, real time clock, dual DC motor, power supply, buzzer, breadboard which you can put here and 8 push switches, 8 LED interface, humidity sensor, ultrasonic sensor, smoke sensor, temperature sensor, LDR and keypad matrix. Now let's move to objective number 1. Objective is to develop Arduino program for blinking of LED. LEDs are small powerful lights that are used in many different applications and the procedure for blinking the LED is our first step is connect any LED to D13 pin so we will connect LED L1 to D13 on Arduino UNO now second step is we have to on the supply again third step is we have to connect Arduino UNO board to the PC after connecting Arduino UNO to PC, open Arduino IDE in your PC, write the following code, compile the program and after compiling, upload it on Arduino. So now let's move to the PC, we will write the code in PC. So here we have written the complete code for our objective one. We have to write the complete code and then verify it. If it is completely verified, then upload on Arduino UNO board. We have uploaded successfully. Now the code is uploaded successfully. We will press the reset button on Arduino UNO. After pressing the reset button, the LED start glowing. So here we have completed our objective number one. Now let's move to objective number 2. Our second objective is to develop Arduino program for interfacing 20x4 LCD with Arduino UNO. A liquid crystal display commonly abbreviated as LCD. 20x4 LCD module can display 80 ASCII characters in 4 lines. Procedure for this objective is connect plus 5 volt from power supply to plus 5 volt pin of 20x4 LCD. So we will connect Now connect LCD pins to Arduino pins as follows LCD RS pin connect it to Arduino D8 pin Now connect LCD EN pin to Arduino D9 pin Same D4 to D10, D5 to D11, D6 to D12, D7 to D13. After connecting all terminals correctly, connect Arduino UNO to the system. Now open Arduino in your PC, write their following code on Arduino ID, compile the program. After compilation, upload it on Arduino. We will show you right now. verify this code after verification we will upload this code on Arduino UNO board code is uploaded successfully so we have uploaded successfully on Arduino UNO now we will power on the supply and you can see on the LCD display hello Tesca world our program run successfully now let's move to objective number three to develop Arduino program for interfacing seven segment display with Arduino UNO a seven segment display got its name from a very fact that is got seven illuminating segment each of these segment has a LED hence the lightning 
the leds are so fabricated that lighting of each led is contained to its own segment the important thing to notice here the leds in any seven segment display are arranged in common anode mode or common cathode mode the procedure for this objective is now connect the arduino pins to the seven segment pins followingly seven segment pin a to arduino pin d0 seven segment pin b to arduino pin d1 seven segment pin c to arduino pin d2 seven segment pin d to arduino d3 connect pin a here d0 of arduino board Similarly, connect all the seven pins of seven segment display to Arduino board. So here we have completed the connections. Now we have to connect D1, D2, D3, D4 pins to the ground. Connect D1. to ground d2 to ground similarly connect d3 and d4 after connecting all the terminals power on the supply now connect the arduino uno board to pc follow the same procedure open arduino ide write your program compile it after successfully compilation upload it on arduino board so here we are going to write write program for this code After uploading the code, turn on the power supply, and you can see on the display the output is here. So our objective is completed. Now let's move to the next objective. Objective number four is to develop Arduino program for generating tone using buzzer. This experiment makes use of a buzzer in order to play melodies. the procedure for this objective is connect a patch cord to d8 pin of arduino board to input of buzzer now connect usb cable which is already already connected connect it to pc write the following arduino code compile the program after compiling successfully upload the program on the arduino board we have uploaded the program on the arduino board now we will on the supply as you can hear the buzzer sound the objective is done successfully now let's move to the next objective objective number 5 to develop arduino program to control dc motor using arduino motor driver ic's are primarily used in autonomous robotics only also most microprocessors operates at low voltages and require a small amount of current to operate while the motor requires a relatively higher voltage and current thus current cannot be supplied to the motors from the microprocessor 
this is the primary need for the motor driver IC. Procedure for this objective is connect the input pins IP1, IP2, IP3, IP4 of the motor driver IC to Arduino digital pins D2, D3, D4, D5 respectively. Now connect the supply pin of 5 volt to 5 volt of DC motor. Connect this USB pin to the PC and write the following Arduino program. Compile that program. After successfully compilation, upload that program on Arduino. We will move on this step now. After uploading the program, now we have to switch on the power supply. Now you can see the fan is moving clockwise and anti-clockwise direction with motor 1 and repeat the same with motor 2. So here we completed our objective 5. Now let's move to the next objective. Our next objective, objective number 6, to develop Arduino program for interfacing LDR with Arduino UNO. The LDR is a special type of resistor which allow higher voltage to pass through it. Whenever there is a high intensity of light and passes a low voltage, whenever it is a dark, we can take advantage of this LDR property and use it in our DIY Arduino LDR sensor project. Whenever a room gets dark due to a fuse bulb or any other factor, a light bulb automatically turn on. This can even be used as an emergency lightning system. It can be used to automatically turn light on whenever there isn't sufficient light in the room. Procedure for this objective is connect the input pin of LDR to analog pin A0 of the Arduino UNO board. Input pin from LDR. Now connect supply plus 5 volt from power supply pin to LDR plus 5 volt pin. Now connect LED to Arduino digital pin D13. After connecting successfully, Connect this USB pin to the PC, open Arduino ID on your PC, write the code, compile it. After successfully compilation, upload the code on Arduino UNO board. We have written the code successfully. Now let's verify this code. After verifying, we will upload this code on Arduino board. Code is uploaded successfully. So here we successfully uploaded the code on Arduino board. Now we are going to power on the supply. So we are using LDR sensor. LDR is a light dependent resistor. When the intensity of light decreases, the LDR goes on. You can see the LED is glowing because light in intensity in this room is decreased. We have completed our objective 6th. Our next objective is to develop Arduino program for interfacing 4x4 keypad matrix with Arduino UNO. The procedure for this objective is connect keypad row R1, R2, R3, R4 to digital Arduino pins D0, D1, D2, D3 respectively. R1, R2, R3, R4 connect these two pin D1, D2, D3.
Now similarly connect keypad column C1, C2, C3 and C4 pins to Arduino digital pins D4, D5, D6, D7 respectively. Now connect supply 5 volt to 5 volt pin of the display. Now connect RS pin of display to D8 pin of Arduino board. Similarly EN pin of display to D9 pin of the Arduino board. Now connect display LCD pins D4, D5, D6, D7 to Arduino pin D10, D11, D12, D13 respectively. D4 to D10. Now connections are successfully done. We will connect the Arduino board to PC. Open the Arduino ID in our PC. Write the following code. Compile the program. After compiling, we have written the complete code of 4x4 keypad matrix. Now, after writing the code, we have to verify the code. After verifying, we have to upload the code on Arduino UNO board. The code is uploaded successfully. Now let's move to the kit. We have successfully uploaded the code. Now we are going to power on the switch. And you can see on the display whatever we are typing, digits are present on the display. So here we completed our objective. Now let's move to the next objective. Our next objective is to develop Arduino program for measuring distance by interfacing ultrasonic sensor. HC SR04 with Arduino UNO. The procedure for this objective is connect plus 5 volt power supply pin to plus 5 volt pin of 20 by 4 LCD. Now connect LCD pin to Arduino pins as follows. Connect RS pin to D8 pin of Arduino board. Connect EN pin to D9 pin of the Arduino board. Connect D4 pin to D10 pin of Arduino board. Connect D5 pin to D11 pin of Arduino board. Connect D6 pin of LCD to D, D11, D12 pin of Arduino board and connect D7 pin of LCD to D13 pin of Arduino board. Now connect plus 5 volt power supply to 5 volt power supply of ultrasonic sensor and then connect the sensor trigger to D4 of Arduino board and echo pin to D5 of the Arduino board. Connections are successfully done. Now connect the Arduino board using USB cable to PC, open Arduino ID, write the program, compile the program. After successfully compilation, we have we will going to upload the program on the Arduino board. We have written the complete code of ultrasonic sensor. Now we will verify the code. 
after verifying is complete you will upload the code on arduino uno board the code is uploaded successfully now let's move to the git we have successfully uploaded the code of ultrasonic sensor now we are going to power on the supply and you can see in the screen this is the ultrasonic sensor and distance can be seen so here we conclude our this objective now let's move to the next objective our objective number 9 is to develop arduino program for sensing temperature by interfacing lm35 temperature sensor with arduino uno procedure for the following object is we have to connect temperature data pin to a0 pin of arduino uno board now we will connect plus 5 volt supply pin to plus 5 volt supply of arduino uno again plus 5 volt power supply to lcd display power supply 5 volt now connect rs pin of display to d8 pin of arduino board connect en pin of display to d9 pin of arduino board connect d4 pin of lcd to d 10 pin of arduino board connect d5 pin of lcd to d11 pin of arduino board connect d6 pin of lcd to d12 pin of arduino board and connect d7 pin of lcd to pin number d13 of arduino board the connections are successfully done now connect the arduino board to pc with using usb cable and now after connecting the arduino to your pc open arduino id in your pc write the following arduino program compile the program after successfully compiling we have to upload the program on arduino board we have open arduino id and written the whole program for temperature sensor now you have to compile the program after writing it after compiling we have to upload the program on arduino board the program is uploaded successfully now we will move to the our kit we have successfully uploaded the program now we are going to power on the switch and we can see on the display the current temperature is 29.81 degrees celsius here our objective is completed now let's move to the next objective thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe if you have any doubt please contact us contact technologies private limited